relationships through video games is the idea behind an event aimed at building relationships between officers and kids in the communities. WNCT's Connor Kick takes us inside gameplay. Positive vibes and it helps kids with good outlets and this is like a place for good energy. On Friday, officers and deputies joined hundreds of kids at Cornerstone Baptist Church at the annual gameplay event. Uh, so I came up with gameplay from watching officers come in the store and shop and a lot of the community youth come in the store and shop also. Gameplay focuses on getting kids ages 12 to 18 to mingle and bond with their deputies and police officers from throughout the East through games. This just brings us face to face. We can see each other, have fun, and have general conversation. While some kids were hesitant at first, they warmed up to the officers as the day continued. When I'm outside of here, I don't like talk to police officers. I'm just like standing around looking. I feel kind of self-conscious, but I think this has actually kind of helped. Coordinators hope that events like this can help strengthen the ties between communities and law enforcement officers and put negative stereotypes in checkmate. Along with board games, kids took on officers and deputies in dancing, racing, and sports video games. It's a little competitive, so if a kid beats you, like, I just got beat in checkers, so let's say, yeah, I won, so now you get to go back and say, I beat, beat a police officer in checkers, so it's just a good all-around all around time. Right before my final interview with Dale, he saw before his eyes his goal accomplished. I literally just sat here and heard a kid ask an officer, hey, you know, are you an officer? Yeah, sure, I am. What do you do? I mean, that's perfect. That's exactly what this event is for. That's what we want. In Greenville, Connor Kick, not on your side. And Dales is working on plans to make the event bigger and better next year.